Good afternoon. I do a lot of hiking and camping, and whenever I'm camped out under the stars, I look up and I think to myself, are we alone? I imagine many of you have thought the same thing whenever you've had the same opportunity. Today's book, Imagine Life, explores this question, and it takes an interesting look at the different and unique experiences that aliens themselves might have on their planets and what it would take for them to become spacefaring plant uh, species like how we are when we have go to the moon and you know have uh, international satellites and whatnot so it's really interesting and a fun read because it kind of talks about the different worlds that these aliens might evolve on such as if you developed on an ocean world It'd be very strange and very hard to be able to get into outer space if you lived on an ocean world because not only do you have to learn how to get into outer space, you first have to figure out how to survive on the surface itself. You're going from water into the open air, so that's a whole other extra step. Um, then they also talk about what if you were an alien species on a moon like Europa that orbits Jupiter or a moon like Enceladus that orbits Saturn. This would add a whole new layer of complexity because not only are you an ocean uh, body, but you have a huge layer of ice on your surface that may be a mile or two mile or even 10 miles thick. So imagine being the first alien explorer to bravely burrow your way up through 10 miles of ice. You get to the surface and boom, you're just shot out of a hole because you're exposed to the open open uh, vastness of space. So there's a kind of unique uh, twist on the idea of is there life in other planets? And uh, they take you even further through this book to explore the idea of what if you're on a rogue planet? Now what a rogue planet is, is it's a planet that was flung th from its solar system at some point for some reason, whether it was an asteroid that came through and knocked it out of the solar system or just the way the gravity works, it flung you out of the solar system. So now you're drifting through the vastness of space. You might not even be in a galaxy anymore. You might be in another uh, between galaxies, just in the void. And you look up and you see nothing. All the stars are too far away to see. And so it raises an interesting question. Would you even want to become a spacefaring civilization? Would you even have that idea? Because if there's nowhere to go, why would you leave your home planet? So this is just one of a few examples that this book talks about, and it was just really a fun read, and astronomy is something I'm really into. So if you're into exoplanets, or you're into astronomy, and the idea of are we alone or are we not, this is a great book for you. My name is Aaron Sedino. Thank you for listening to my book review. Have a good day.